Hello everyone, I'm Arunima from Knitter Knotter and in this video I'm going to show you how to change color at the beginning of the forward pass while uh, making a Tunisian crochet project. So I have this little swatch which is made with simple stitches. It could be anything, it could be any stitch. Um, for the purpose of this video I'm going to use simple stitches. Um, if you um, don't know how to do this I have a separate video which you can look at. I'm going to add it in the description below. but uh, this will work with with any stitch so it's not specific to this stitch so i'm going to get started uh, i'm going to so i already have these rows i'm going to quickly make another row and then i'm going to change color at the beginning of the forward pass of the next row so uh, i'm just going to go ahead and make simple stitches all the way till the end make the reverse pass so you make the reverse pass all the way until one before the beginning so until you have two loops on the hook so you have two loops on the hook at this point so here is when I'm going to change color so I'm going to attach my next color and pull that through so that is how I'm going to attach the second color and I'm going to make my next row with this color so just continue making your stitches as you were making them but just with the other color so that's how we change color at the beginning of the forward pass I'm going to go ahead and complete this row Here I have two loops on my hook at this point. If I wanted to make my next row of a different color, I'd, uh, I'd attach that other color here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make my next row with this first color. So here I'm just carrying this at the back. I picked up this color and pulled that through the two. And I'm going to now continue making this row with that color. So I'm just giving this a slight tug here so it's not too loose, not too tight, just the same height as the previous um, row and I'm going to just make this row with this color. here it is so this is how it is so it is you can't really recognize that the color has changed at this point and that's pretty much it for changing color at the beginning of the forward pass for Tunisian crochet uh, if you have any questions about this technique feel free to reach out to me and I have a bunch of other tutorials which are which you are welcome to check out thank you I'll see you in my other videos bye bye